Is there something that you could attribute to your success more than the the rest? Was it like the syndication of clips on YouTube? Uh, was it was it was it the touring? Was it the Comedy Central specials? Which elevated you the most? The willingness to give up everything to pursue this dream. Mm, you know, there's there's when I say sacrifice, I mean sacrifice. There were lots of hours and time uh, that you know clearly could have been spent uh, with people or doing things, having fun. I, you know, the, once money started coming in, it could have been easy for me to just dick off and be like, all right, I'm going to go party. I'm going to go do this or I'm going to get into that. And I didn't. I, I knew that, you know, like I, I know what I want and I'm willing to to sacrifice and work my ass off to get it. And I think that if you're willing to like I, I said, I, tra I take no time off. You know, if I have an opportunity to do work, I work. And I think most of the time people aren't willing to work. You know, they say they want it. You know, that's why I love listening to Kevin Hart when he talks about how, you know, you, you if you want something, what are you willing to do to get there? Like Kevin Hart, in my opinion, is the hardest working comic uh, actor, whatever you want to call it, in show business, because I, I honestly think he schedules his shits because I don't know when he's not working. <laughs> he's always doing something. He's always on a commercial. He's always on television. He's always doing something on the Internet. He's got his own slew of shows. He's got his own channel. He's always making a movie. And when, just when you think the movie's done, there's two more coming behind that. And I'm like... There's got to be 87 Kevin Hart's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, wow. And so, you know, when I talk to him, he tells me, you know, the conversations about that, about sacrifice and what, what are you willing to do and how much do you want? And this can become uh, addicting where it's like, because I, I don't think Kevin can say no. I, I think that so much is riding on Kevin where it's it's very hard. And, and I, I, saying no, once everything is just happening, it's super hard. So it's when do you call, so when do you call it fluffy like I, I thought about it I thought about retiring right after Dodger Stadium because I says you know what I don't know if I'll ever be able to do anything as amazing as this in one night this is like are you kidding how do you just go back to you know hey you everybody you hey, don't forget tip your weight staff you know <laughs> 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 all right <That> a bar. <laughs> you know what I mean it's like that that would have been the the going out on the highest point possible so like what what do you do now how do you how do you set a goal for yourself because like like literally that's it's not every day someone sees the peak you know what i mean or or knows that they jumped a shark mm. yeah that's an old saying um <laughs> i forget you're young you just freaking you got the you, you look got, old yeah you got the yeah <laughs> so it's uh you know what, what are you willing to sacrifice i i know that right now uh i want to see how this special does mm. um based on that I'm, I'm gonna see what what i can do because i definitely don't want to just fade if anything, I want to go out with a with the bang. With a bang, you have to. And so, uh, if if there's something that can be done that's bigger than this that that I can aim for, someone said, "Hey, man, you should make friends with Elon Musk. See if you do comedy in space. You know, maybe <laughs> like you could be that. the first comic to do jokes up there for someone's you know, ten gonna, minutes. Someone will do that. Someone will eventually do it. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if I can pass the physical or not, but fuck it, I'll die in space. Why not? <laughs> you know, he went out there, man. <laughs> he <laughs> just, just never came. They, they opened the door. They let him out. He's he's <laughs> hovering over the fluffy somewhere in the universe. Around the planet. <laughs> You could be the first orbiting comedian. There you go. So, and it, and it sounds like a joke, but is it at this point? I'm telling you, someone will be the first. Everyone will be the first someone to do something, something. in space, which is fascinating. Um, um, but, but yeah, um, what I mean, are you willing? What are you willing to sacrifice? Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I think that's been the biggest thing is is being able to give up certain things to get to the goal. Just hearing you talk, I. I think you're going to have a hard time with retirement. Yeah, you you, sure. you sound like a workhorse. You, you I, do what I you love, love. I love being on stage. It's yeah, my favorite man. thing in the world. And um, yes, I could, you know, try to get into other things, whether it's, uh, you know, more acting or, or uh, you know, I like doing voiceover. I've been, I've been doing a lot of that. That's been a lot oh, of yeah. fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With, with movies and stuff like that. But it doesn't bring me that same level of joy of being in front of people, being in front of a crowd, being having that instant feedback, knowing that you're connecting and just going back and forth. It's, Maybe you need a hobby. Awesome. You know, I, I don't, I, you know, uh, shoot, <laughs> I collect chihuahuas, bro. <laughs> 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 I collect chihuahuas. Another, another thing too, on the, on the, uh, going out with a bang thing, maybe, maybe it's not about, uh, using the metric of a sold out stadium and that success as the, as the apex comedy, like so many other things is an ever evolving, uh, environment and your ability to do it is an ever evolving environment. So if instead of looking at Dodger Stadium being the biggest thing you've ever done, maybe the end of the road for you is being the best comic you ever can be and that never ends. 
And so you can find yourself on stage for the rest of your life, whether there's 10 people serving fucking Michelob Ultras in the crowd or you're selling out Wembley, you're just doing the best you can for yourself. And so maybe maybe people sometimes need to just like change up their metric for what they're doing and why they're doing it because I'm sure you fucking love what you're doing regardless of how many people are in the that crowd. Is, that, that, that was very well put. Very well put. Thank you for that. Yeah. Try oh, that's, that's awesome. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.